Hi, folks. We're going to create a model here in, in Vendor Basics. So we want to start our 2D sketch. And we want to select the XZ plane. Now we're in our XZ plane. We want to create two circles. So let's grab a circle from this origin. And let's make this circle 5.9. Enter. Swing view. We want to create another circle. This will be 3.5. Select enter. And now we want to go and make a dimension from this point, this center of circle, to this circle. And let's make this distance 3.54. Let me select enter. Okay, now there's our circle. So next thing we want to do is we want to trim this guy out. So we'll go with our trim command and just swipe it right through there. And then we'll go with our fillet. And we'll take a fillet and we'll make we'll make this 0.39. And make sure that's selected and equal. And then just go and fill it. Fill it. And right click and say OK. Next, what we need to do here is go in and create an offset. So, to do an offset, you just go into the modify, the sketch, modify tab, and hit offset right here and select the outside and just drag this in. And for the distance, we make this 0.78. Select enter. So, there's our shape. And at this point, we want to go and uh, we want to finish the sketch. So finish sketch. We'll zoom all. And then we'll hit extrude. Select this face. And this distance will be for direction A. We'll make this uh, 1.96. 196. 1.196. Uh-oh. Not that big. Point one. We'll go OK. And we'll say OK there. And now we'll go and add some features out here. So let's go to our start 2 d sketch. We want to select this face. Zoom all. Now we have this face selected. Let's go and create a polygon. And we want to make sure this is inscribed, it's highlighted. And the number is six, you can make that any number you want. So I want to just define an origin here. This will be my origin, and I'll just make a shape sort of like, uh, just like that, that's good enough. And then we'll right click and say okay. Now, um, we want to, on the ribbon, we want to click Sketch Constraint Horizontal. And so we go on our horizontal constraint. And what I want to do here, I want to select this line and that point. So that's constraint there. So next thing we want to do is dimension this guy. So let's do a dimension from here to here. And this dimension will be point. Uh, that's a good size here. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is a good size for this thing? 0.31. And we'll go OK there. So there's our shape. Now, from this point, we want to dimension this from the center. So we it looks a little off. So let's make a dimension from this point to here. Yeah, it is off. Let's make this for 4.92. Let's select enter. Now, since we've got this guy here all together, I think this is ready to go. So let's go and finish sketch. And there's our sketch is finished. And so now let's do an extrude. And here we want to go cut. 
and behavior to all. And then we'll say okay. So now we want to make a path pattern for this. So on our ribbon 3D sketch, we're going to start another 2D sketch. And we want to touch the face of this model. And then we want to select this project geometry. And then we want to right click on the outer edge and we want to select tangencies. So once we have our select tangencies, and then um, we want to go back to our ribbon here and we want to select the point. And I want to specify this is my point right here. And then um, right click and say OK. Now next we want to go um, and finish this sketch. Now the next thing we need to do here is uh, on the 3D model pattern. So let's go to 3D model pattern. We will select rectangular. And then we'll select the extruded cut features of the model, which is, oh, we want to select this. And we want to select in our box here, we want to make sure the cursor is selected for direction one. And then we want to place a pointer here We want to select it here, and we want to keep placing this guy until we get all our edges selected here. Um, it's up to there. Let's go with this one here to there. So we want to make sure you get them all. Okay, I think we got them all. I hope we got them all. And then at that point, um, We want to expand this guy here, and we want to select. Um, we want to click our start point here, and then we'll click this start point here. And from that point, we just fill in a dialog box where we want to have ten of these, and then we want to go with these. The long curve length, and then we want to go with direction one. Uh, wait a minute, we got something wrong here, guys. So we didn't select all of our edges, so we're going to have to go back. Let's step back a minute here, and let's see if we can do this from this point right here. Let's go back one more step. No, we can go it from there. So we want to go with our sketch, rectangular. We want to select this object here. And then we need to uh, select direction one. And we need to select all these edges until we get them all okay we got them all so now what we need to do is expand this again And then we want to click the start button here. And we want to select this point. And now the count will be 10. And uh, we'll go along.
didn't get them all again, apparently. We'll go to this, oh, oops, not distance. Let's go with uh, curve length. There we got it. And then we go to direction one. And we'll say OK. And there's our feature. So a little tricky there, but that's how you do this, this model. And so guys, thanks for watching. If you have any questions or comments about this exercise, feel, please feel free. I think we're going to go into a little more uh, inventor modeling with sheet metals next. So hey guys, thanks for watching and see you in the next video. Comments, questions, please fill in the, them below. Have a good one and bye.